Looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you can light up a place with your own little brand of sunshine. Copyright issues if I say I'm walking on sunshine. Hope to see you again sometime. Look for us to be seen in some theatre in Foresight. Hope to be going to Foresight soon in this game and not just in Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Ultimate, I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, no items. Yeah, what's up? Zombies and ghosts are on the loose here. Welcome to Freed. Oh! I forgot that this was for... This was... This could be the Halloween theme of Vidi Plays. I'll take it. I, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, even on video games for fun, I am just uploaded a review of Resident Evil, both the original and the remake, and very soon I'm doing Resident Evil 2 and Silent Hill 2. And also alongside that, I'll be going to uh, PAX. Well, what are these enemies like? Gauge the zombie possessor and its cohorts. Um, should I just use a basic uh, special attack? And then... Yeah, that should... Hold on! Okay, um, the phone rang, um, which I should have had, had off or something. I don't know what happened. Like, my hearing aid Bluetooth sort of got with my phone. And I also have no idea what just happened here, other than something's happened to Ness, like it's possessed or something, and Paula is, took a heavy amount of damage. Um, how are we doing for healing items? We've got a croissant. Um... Okay, hopefully Ness... I, I, I'm not sure what, what happened to Ness there. So... Oh, God. Also, I don't think the fire did much in the way of damage. So... Oh, no. What have I done? Uh, no! No! Never call me on a... Let's play! Never! Come on, someone die. Okay, Ness seems to be fine. I'll say that much. Okay, Ness... Hang on. Oh dear, this can't be good. Okay, I'll take that. What? What happened there? Okay. I can relax a bit. I just don't know what happened. I have no idea what just happened. I really don't know what just happened. I've never seen that before. It shouldn't have happened. I mean, look, I leveled up and everything, so... Oh, we've got that ghost thing. So we better go to a hospital if we can. Uh, where's the hosp nearest hospital? The hospital is sort of down there. Let's see. The gra graveyard is mostly where we're supposed to be next. But yeah, let's go to the hospital. I'll be right back and I can just calm down a little bit. Okay. <sighs> um, your... Yes, we are in fairly bad shape. We can go through here. I think we come back to this thing, this tent later, but I think Ness and Paula need to, um, yeah, they need to rest. How much does it cost though? The free Sunset Hotel will cost 120 is acceptable. I mean, we've got quite a bit of money. Ah, a nice hotel stay in, um, a gloomy town. Now, I have no idea what I was even talking about because I just had to also text the person who was calling me and 
all that stuff. I uh, so whatever what was on my train of thought up until that battle. What? Where did you come from? You scared me like it is Halloween. Well, that's probably even what I might have been talking about, but... At the same time, um... But I think that was one of the last things I do remember talking about, is that... I was vaguely planning Sork Nemesis as some kind of vaguely Halloween-themed... Ooh, nice one, Ness. Themed playthrough. But anyway, if that trick-or-treat kid didn't seem too tough... So if there's any particular strengths or weaknesses, I won't know at this point. Um, also, is there anything I should get? There's a shop right there. More healing items and equipment wouldn't go astray. So we'll go there. Then I think we'll be ready. Right, is there anything else? Uh, desert, Tucson. Desert, desert is what we'll, where we'll go after Freed. If I remember right. Also, the music is quite ominous. Let's... I'll save that much. Okay, let's get some money and equip ourselves. But anyway, so, um, in regards to horror games... Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> horror games, yeah, Resident Evil... Resident Evil 2 and so... Oh, I remember what I was talking about! PAX! PAX is, um, on, um, where was it? I think October... 26 thereabouts in Melbourne, Australia, at the Exhibition Centre. And I'm looking forward to uh, that. Um, and I'm kind of hoping for a few things to happen. No, thank you. I'm trying, I'll talk to the other person. Let's have a look. What have you got? Oh, you got stuff. Nice. A bit pricey, though. Minor League Battle Rights. Which of you will carry this? Ha. <laughs> Hey, non, hey, non. Yes, I'll, I'll just let me just give you equipment sort out. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, take it. Let's let's get our characters equipped, which would certainly help with um stuff. So, fig five pan for Paula. But anyway, so with packs, um, I'm hoping for even though it might not be possible, especially with queues, um, Kingdom Hearts free. Uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate, I think there's going to be like a big showing. Uh, what other games were I, was, was I interested in? Um, there was one other game, but also there's a few panels I'm interested in, and also a YouTube channel I watch uh, outside Extra or ex outside Xbox, so I mainly watch, whoops, I mainly watch, whoops, uh, outside Extra as well, outside Extra, although they have outside Xbox, so... I think, what was his name? Luke, Ellen, and a few of the other the outside extra members will be there. Hope they'll get to meet them, although they may not feature as much on a Saturday. Although on Saturday night they might have a showing of uh, movies based on video games. Resident Evil and Tomb Raider, and even bad ones like Super Mario Bros. and all that are in the voting polls. I think Resident Evil and Tomb Raider are doing very well. Perhaps even Street Fighter. There's two. Uh, it's a double showing, so... I'll be in, I'm also not that familiar with video game movies outside of Resident Evil, the first one, the Tomb Raider films, and the first hour of Silent Hill. From what I've seen of Silent Hill, though, that's um, one of the better video game adaptations. Nice. Just to remind ourselves, Intense Spray is fairly self explanatory, does 100 points of damage to a bug. So if there are any bugs which you haven't seen yet, they will be sprayed on and... What? Oh, come on! That was a... Oh, there's bugs right there, but I don't need to worry. I think if I use, um... Uh, Paula's ranged uh, special attacks, which she just managed to dodge, so that's good. So take care of a guy behind me, Fox. To the front row. Hopefully that will... Yeah, it's like similar to Pokemon. Hey, what the... Mind you, I think... Um, I would go as far as to say that um, Paula's in a bit of trouble there, but she is sort of... I wouldn't say under-leveled. It's just like... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, at least we get rid of those guys, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh-oh, 
could not stop crying. Oh, I think. Still, you managed to do some damage there, I guess, just regardless of the crying. Yeah, Paula, you need to get your health HP back up to shape, you know? But yeah, so Kingdom Hearts 3, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, whatever upcoming... Red Dead Redemption 2 might be there. Um, although it might just come out right on that day anyways. Um, what other upcoming games am I hoping for? Uh, packs, or even just to play, you know, when it comes out anyways. Because, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out in January. Super Smash Bros. Okay, I faced you correctly that time. Oh, we got a new uh, enemy. So that's no good fly to a smelly ghost. How smelly are ya? Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. I guess the no good flies don't have that much good defense anyways. Will you stop attacking Ness? Oh. Don't worry, would we... Uh-oh, what have I done? That's what I meant by... No! No, no, no. Just kill the dang thing. Welcome to Vidi Place Earthbound, where Paula keeps dying and at the expense of Nessus leveling up. Now, let's figure this out. That is the graveyard. Let's, let's be sure. Okay, so according to the strategy guide, just to remember, remember me, but I also want to look at the strategy guide because I'm getting a bit impatient and my concentration's going a bit. We speak to a zombie guard. Question is, where is the zombie guard so I don't keep on bumping into enemies? Though, Paula could use some f more experience for Fetch's sake. But anyways, I think that's enough about packs. What about games that are coming out? No, no, I don't want to fight. I just want to get a good sense of where I'm going. Maybe I'm supposed to go to the right side. But yeah, good sense of what. So Kingdom Hearts 3, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Red Dead Redemption 2 may have just come out and is playable there. Mind you, I've only played a little bit of the first Red Dead Redemption. I, I like what I've seen though, but... But gosh, goodness me, like... Why don't I have about enough time to play more of Red Dead Redemption? Also, also, also... More MP is back. Hey, no one, what's over here? Hint shop, okay. What about something in the garbage? A teddy bear! That could be very helpful. Um. Wait, that was a graveyard right there? Was it the same one? Can we go to it? Oh, zombies. And whoever you are, you account of a smiling Sam. Sounds creepy. Though he has a slightly low defense, so that should be alright. Though he might surprise us, as earthbound enemies generally do. Never mind. Wait, how much XP do you need, uh, Paula? Ness has got quite a bit, so get yeah, Paula, get some more, please. What about you, zombies? Zombies, Resident Evil, Halloween special. Okay, I think also, just to be sure. Yeah, fire does reasonably good damage to them. I think it's a typical RPG or even zombie trope to have fire be good against zombies, you know? Did something very mysterious. It did not work on the teddy bear. Well, it does this well you didn't actually attack us. Good one. I right, no, 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 no. Do you lose your cold after this fight, Ness? I don't think you do. Oh, Paul is very close. Paul is very, very close. Um, what's that? Or maybe, hang on, hang on, you're healing on himself. Nice. Now, uh, we go to the right here. 
if there are more zombies here, but I don't think it's just an, like a random encounters thing. Yeah, but obviously the zombie guard would just be an, en an enemy who doesn't necessarily attack you, but is an NPC. If I can find them. I just don't want to fight too many enemies, even though Paula can level up and a teddy bear can give us a bit more leeway. But if we can hold on to the teddy bear more, I would be very, very happy. Um, we're over the map sign. When I press the X button there. <laughs> um, zombie guard. Zombie guard. I know that I have to... Talk to a zombie guard. Or at least go down a grave. More specifically. Also, what did I, Go over here. Come over here. Okay. Regardless of the problems I've had with recording this current... Uh, re with this recording session of Earthbound so far. Which I could talk about a bit more stuff. But yeah, it talks about packs and... No! Wow, that's quite a bit to deal with. Some... Okay, yes. Well done, Paula. Though that wasn't much of a status change, I will say that much. Wait, that was an enemy? Ha, huh, you're in no trouble. Oh, I was talking about teddy bear, it's just... Wait, zombie guard. He stares into your soul. Oh, I like the music. He looks you over. He looks... I know. He stares into your soul. What? Um... Okay, I don't... Know what just happened there. What the heck? Um... No! The teddy bear's life was in vain. What? Get in for... Okay, I'll just go to the hotel, I guess. Mind you, I don't know. Come on, can I talk to you or what? Well, at least let me get to the... Dang it. We're just within the... The, the um, lengths of leveling up. No, I don't want to fight too many enemies. Not until I figure out what's going on. Let's... We didn't get an info about a mysterious... Wait. Strategy guide, we weren't supposed to go to the hotel first, well. Oh, hang on. I saw that. How are we supposed to figure this out? By going to a zombie guard? No. Oh, oh, you're losing consciousness. What would be the f what could be the fate of Ness and his friend? You mean? I'm not, I'm not going to stop making jokes about Paula. In fact, I should stop because I like Paula. Paula's a good character. The door is locked. Oh, I'm calling out to you who I've never met. I'm calling our friend who we've never met, Jeff. Jeff, we need your help. I am Paul. I am with another friend. Ness, we are trying to contact you. Meet the third party member. Renters, a small country to the north. Oh, that's the sort of the, um, the winter snowman tune that's in the Mother franchise. This will Mother 2 and 3, which this is Mother 2. Those of you only games I played. Snowwood Boarding House. I am Paula and I am with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. If you hear me, please wake up and head south. Only you, though far away, can save us, Jeff. Please hear my call and begin heading south. Jeff, you're our friend who we've never met, but you are one and only hope. Obi-Wan Kenobi, much? Ah, so here we have we get to control Jeff. Ah, uh, Jeff, I just dreamt that you were now taking a walk. What's wrong? Jeff, 
Where are you going in the middle of the night? You know the dorm rules, right? If you get caught, you'll get punished big time. What's wrong, Jeff? All right, there must be some reason that I don't understand. I won't stop you, but it's dangerous to leave without taking anything along. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> hey, I think there's some stuff in the locker room that you should get. I hope you get out of here. Tony joined you, for I won't be them. Wait, what? No, I'm trying to check. No problem. I guess that's just scenery, right? Uh, so, we can talk to people, right? I heard a more interesting story than the rumor about Tessie. It's about the cave boys at Stonehenge. Many claim to have actually seen them. Stonehenge? I heard a creature called Tessie lives in a southern lake. I don't believe it. I think someone made a model and placed it in the lake. I wonder if the rumor is true that the center of Stonehenge has an entrance heading someplace. Leading someplace. Someday we should check it out. I'm sleepy. I wash my face, brush my teeth, do my business, and go to bed. Uh, I liked it when you talked about Tessie and Stonehenge, you know. Uh, is this... Oh! What the freak? What the fetch? Yes, I'll talk to your presence. Oh. We have enough room, right? A right, cookie. I'll, I'll be, I'll be watching, re watching a bit of uh, Clueless Gamer a bit recently. And with his Super Smash Brothers, he should do one for Smash Brothers Ultimate. Conan would prefer it if a game was simpler, involved a guy taking a walk and trying to find a cookie and sleeping. I wish it had uh, just two buttons. There was one button that was go forward and another that was eat cookie. Still, he was more impressed with Super Smash Brothers for Wii U than he was for other games. Uh, if you're going outside, stop by and say hi to Maxwell before you leave. He always looks out for the younger students. Maxwell was still working hard at the lab downstairs. Anyway, these days there are many dangerous animals wandering around outside. Well, just as well we've um, got many cookies. Jeff, I can't believe you could do something so nasty. What? What are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Wait, am I in the right spot? Okay, okay, we've just got a couple more doors we can potentially explore. Oh, this is the lab. Oh, Jeff and Tony, you startled me. Are you looking for a late night snack? I'm having some trouble with my project. If only Jeff's father, Dr. Andernuts, were here. He'd be able to provide a great deal of help. I've heard he's an astounding person. He was the first leader of our ultra science club. I heard he's greater than Einstein or Eisenberg. I was thinking of Breaking Bad, I'm sorry. Rumor has it he's also very strange. If you're heading to the locker room, take this key along. It's a little bent, though. When you say a little bit bent, you mean the... Oh. Oh, if you leave it, call me or record your adventure. It's like saving the game. <laughs> but how much... Um, that's, I think, the usual amount of items per person. Also, big bottle rockets. They come in handy, but we sh and, well, and broken speed can, so... Broken stuff. I think we've got at least one, maybe two broken items already, so Jeff will help us repair broken items. Damn it. The key to bent a dozen feet into that one. Okay, I'm just going to try. <laughs> Lots of keys. It's like a typical adventure game. Okay, I just figured out that the key doesn't open those lockers. I think you can get out by going over the gate, but you need to get some stuff to take with you. You mean the locker? You better not mean the fetching locker. And by fetching... Yes, I was vaguely talking about YouTube before, like with... Like, like someone, you know, swore, you know, said a swear word and stuff. Ah, oh, I thought that might be the case. So just inventive a uh, machine that opens doors, especially with a slightly bad key. So for convenience. Ha, huh, talk about weird. If you are Dr. Adonis, then you should be able to repair small tools and make them useful. Just try and keep a positive attitude. I think that generally happens when you fall asleep. Um, in regards to um, just, anyways, have we, no, I want the bad key machine. I've been a locker. Unfortunately, there's nothing in this locker. Okay, give me a second. 
Okay, anyways, I just went through a lock of air and we've got a Holmes hat, which I've equipped, a pop gun, which I've equipped, and a broken air gun. Had to drop a couple of cookies, though. Conan O'Brien with his Clueless Gamer segment won't be happy about that. That's all I can say. Now can we go? Okay, now use me as a step of climb over the gate. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. I don't know where you're going or why, but remember, we are best friends forever. We come back. This is a good cue for me to do a save state. Hold on. <laughs>